Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone. It's Monday, the, I'll get the date right this time, October the 21st. And we're back in the Dura Upper and we're back to Sandy. So um, I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. We had a good weekend. I watched some great motorcycling action on, on the um, laptop. Um, yesterday and uh, Saturday evening, fantastic. Top rack, fantastic. Uh, Marquez, what an amazing win that was. Um, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with uh, next year, I think. Um, what else can I tell you? Nothing really at the moment, I'm, uh, but I, I was looking at uh, some YouTube channels over the weekend and I, I, I came across one um, and it's a, a chap who, who's a Brit, Brit and he's, uh, he's moved over to France, he's in Charente and um, he, he says that people over here, or, or this is what I recall anyway, he said that people are nasty over here uh, and okay he says there are a few nice people, he says generally people in France are nasty. Um, even Brits in France are nasty, uh, according to him. And I, I had to think about this, and uh, I thought to myself, hold on a minute, there's a different culture in France compared to being in Britain. In Britain, generally, uh, people are followers. They follow the rules, generally. In France, it's a different culture. Uh, the French tend to, how can I put it, um, uh, if it's not written down in law, they'll, they'll do it. Um, there's no queue culture in France. Queues? What are queues? In, in, in the UK, there are queues. People queue in an orderly fashion. That's what Britain, British people are well known for, queuing. In France, there's nothing like that. I, I, and I don't think I've ever come across, ever since I've been coming over since, over here since 2006, I've only encountered one problem with uh, some undesirables in France. Just one problem, and that is to do with uh, youngsters wanting to key you know, put a key mark down the side of uh, nice cars because they can't have them for some reason. And that's, uh, that, that didn't happen to us, but it was going to because I got out of the car because I was waiting for the wife and we had an Audi TT at the time, or she had an Audi TT. And you know, I saw these youths coming over and they were scratching nice cars on the way and they were heading towards ours and I thought, oh, right, what's going on here? And uh, I got out of the car and because of the size I am, uh, they, uh, they quickly went their own way. But that's the only undesirable thing I've encountered. Apart from I can't, sometimes I can't get used to the non-conformance of queuing. The only time the, the French queue is at the supermarket checkout <laughs> or for petrol <laughs> but touch wood everyone's great over here uh, I mean I've encountered Australian people they're fantastic they're just as mad as Brits if, if not a bit more um, the French generally have been fantastic towards me and it, if you make an effort with the language which I always try to then they'll help you, no matter what. Some of the pronunciations over here are a bit weird to me, like um, uh, the, the word for nose, for example, is ni. And the word for tire is pn. So that, that makes me giggle inside, but I, I, you know, I've still got to learn. Um, so this chap, He's got his own YouTube channel. Um, he's done a, an amazing job with what he's got. I'll tell you that for nothing. And my hat goes off to him. Um, because, I mean, he, he's, he lives on his own and he's 
he's done amazing things with the, the, the property he's bought and uh, the grounds that he, he's managing. Fantastic job. I mean, I could only wish to do that. Um, and I'm trying to. But my, my focus is on DIY at the moment and getting this place done uh, so we can sell it and then, you know, see what happens next. But um, yeah, hats off to him. Um, but he, because he's on his own, he's not encountering, uh, how can I put it, the niceties of France. Uh, and it's a wonderful place. Uh, I mean, you treat people with respect and they'll treat you with respect. That works in all over the world, in multiple cultures. So perhaps he's in the wrong circles. I don't know. I don't know. But um, hats off to him to what he's done and what he's going through and what he's been through. Um, so anyway, that's my little, um, little chat for this morning. I'm going to carry on with some sanding now and uh, see how far I get today. I'm hoping to finish the sanding today. And then I've got to uh, do the ceiling. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna sand the ceiling. It's just that the previous owners decided to put um, reflective stars um, on the ceiling. So it's, I've just gotta look at, oh yeah, I can see one there. I've just gotta locate them and scrape them off. Anyway, uh, I'll catch you later. Many unbearable hours later. Welcome back everyone. That was tough. Um, all the walls are now sanded. All of the glowy sticker star things are off the ceiling. Um, I vacuumed everywhere and I filled a few more holes around the skirting. And also some ha uh, um, hairline cracks on parts of the walls. So I've got to sand them back when they're dry. But, uh, so that'll be the next one. To sand back the hairline cracks I've covered and around the skirting. And then a wipe down of the, wall, of the walls and then I'll be skimming. Great fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and by the way, it's 10 to 5 and it's starting to get dark outside, which is a bit odd. So, yeah, it, it's, it's nearly there, nearly there. And uh, there's me wearing shorts today. It's only, what, 14, 15 degrees, but is that dust or is that reflection? Probably a bit of both. So um, that's me for today. And um, I'll be here maybe tomorrow. Depends what the, the wife brings back from shopping. She's gone shopping. So I could be cooking tomorrow. Who knows? If she, if she brings back a load of beef, stewing beef, then I'll be doing a stew. That'd be great, wouldn't it? We love our stews. It's starting to get cold in the evenings now. We still haven't turned on the heating at all. Um, which is a bit odd. I do apologize for the echo in here because um, I've closed all the shutters and the windows now. Um, I just need to uh, get out of here and uh, go home and have a shower because I'm covered. Anyway, I will. it's only a short one today. So um, I'll probably upload this tomorrow and um, I will bid you good evening. Um, but first, if you like my videos, please give me a like, please subscribe. Uh, I'm begging, <laughs> they're getting there. As soon as all this preparation, wor preparation work's done, I sounded Australian then, um, then the exciting area starts. But anyway, I'm babbling on. Uh, subscribe if you want to, hit the bell, blah, blah. You know what to do. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you all soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.